In this post, I explain how to create H5P presentation from Google Slides. It is a step-by-step -step tutorial showing how to change slide aspect ratio, how to download your slides as images, and how to upload them into H5P presentation. Okay, so how to convert your Google Slides into H5P? I have two messages, one good, one not so good. So the good news is I'm going to talk you step by step through this process. And the not so good news is that there is no easy way to do that. And uh, you will need to export all slides, uh, your Google Slides as images, and then add each of these slides one by one into the H5P, either as image or as background. So I would really recommend to start with thinking if you have any particular reason to make your presentation in H5P, like using some of the functionalities not available in traditional Google Slides presentation, but only available in H5P. There is a bit of manual work and simply it, it, it might not be worth all the effort, especially if your presentation is hundreds of slides long. However, if you still want to learn how to do it, stay with me and I will guide you through this process step by step. So step one is changing Google Slides aspect ratio to match H5P ratio. So the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that uh, both tools slides aspect ratio is the same. So they are compatible. H5P slide ratio is two by one. Google Slides default size is 16 by nine. Before downloading your slides, make sure to have the same ratio as H5P slides. Otherwise you will get an image that doesn't fit perfectly into H5P. Or if you upload an image as a H5P background, it will be stretched across the slide like this one here. So Google Slides allow you to change the aspect ratio of your presentation, choosing between standard 4 by 3, widescreen 16 by 9, widescreen 16 by 10, and also choose a custom size. So in our case, we will be choosing custom size. So how to change the size of Google Slides to make them compatible with H5P. On your computer, open a presentation in Google Slides. Click File, Page Setup. Choose your ratio. As I said, in this case, we are choosing a custom ratio. Below custom, enter size and pick measurements, uh, measurement units. I usually go by pixels. Uh, the height here is 1080. So I make the width twice that. So it's 2160 pixels. Okay, and click apply. So you see that you get uh, that bit of extra space here after resizing your slides. So now we'll need to fix anything that doesn't fit in the new resized slide. And remember that changing aspect ratio affects all your presentation, not only one slide. So that's why I actually suggest if you have an idea of converting your Google Slides into H5P, you start working on your presentation in Google Slides using that exact ratio. Then you will have everything correct from the beginning and there will be no fixing uh, your designs. Step two is saving slides as images. So when you're happy with the slides ratio and the layout and composition, you can start downloading selected slides from your presentation one by one as images. Now bear in mind that you will lose any transitions that you might have in your Google Slides. So when you download this uh, slides as static PNG on JPEG images, this interactivities will be gone how to download Google Slides as images. Click on the slide that you want to save as image. Remember to be in, in that slide. Then click File, select Download, and choose JPEG or PNG. Unfortunately, as you can see, you need to do it slide by slide. I was mentioning earlier that it can be time consuming, so have a good reason to do that. Step three is uploading images to your H5P presentation. So you can, two options here, you can upload images as images appearing on the slides, or you can upload images as a background art. In both these scenarios, just make sure that you're in a slide that you want to update. So to upload an image to the slide, click on an image icon 
uh, then the new menu opens. So fill in all the required details and click done. So images uploaded to the slides can be resized in H5P while editing slides. So you see here you can drag and reposition. Um, so, so that's image in the slide. Backgrounds, on the other hand, are fixed and they fill in the entire space of the slide. So downloading images in the correct two by one ratio is particularly important if you plan to use your slides as backgrounds. To upload background, click on the icon with the paint bucket below the slide. You can now choose whether you want the same background for the entire template, so for all your slides, or just for this one slide. I usually add images as backgrounds because I prefer that they are in fixed position and when adding additional functionality within the slide and additional interactions, there is no risk of accidentally moving, resizing them. So I usually keep them in the background, but that's your choice. You have these two options. Okay, so that's how you create your H5P presentation from Google Slides. So you see it can be time consuming. So just one final note, if your presentation is long, uh, you can consider using H5P for smaller chunks of your content, some sections of your presentation perhaps. So think whether your learners would benefit from some interactivity, some additional functionality that your Google Slides don't have. And I don't mean adding video or audio only, this can be easily created in Google Slides. Think about some additional other functionality that can be achieved only or perhaps more easily or more comfortably in H5P. So like built-in quiz or scenarios, some other functionality that Google Slides don't have. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. Let me know if there are any other topics that you would like to be covered in my future videos. And don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing to get notified about new videos.